Hey, this is Danny with Green Thumb Yard Care, and today I want to go over micro clover and how you can use it to benefit your lawn. Micro clover is pretty much what it sounds like. It is clover that has been chosen and engineered for its smaller leaf. Um, it also tends to grow lower to the ground than normal clover, so it uh, can be advantageous to use in a lawn. What's the difference between micro clover and regular clover? Here's a photo of a side by side with micro clover being up top and the regular clover down below. You can see that the micro clover is about half or maybe even a little bit less in size than the regular clover. I also have a sample that I got out of my garden today. Um, so. This right here, that is micro clover. This is regular clover. Here you can see side by side. There we go. Side by side, regular clover compared to micro clover. It's much smaller in size and like I said it's much smaller in height as well. Some other benefits is that it doesn't flower quite as much as regular clover so that way if it is incorporated in your lawn um, you won't see those white little puffs which is the flower like you see with normal clover. Those are going to be far and few between and they're also going to be lower below the height of grass so it's not going to really stand out in your lawn the same way that having normal clover would. I believe it just increases the health of the ecosystem in your yard. So if you were to think about it from an ecological standpoint, um, most lawns are a monoculture of just grass. Sometimes you get a little bit of variety with different types of grass, for example, tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. But at the end of the day, um, most lawns are just you know, a single type of grass. If you look at monocultures, at least in farming, usually they're responsible for nutrient depletion in the soil. They limit the amount of insects and wildlife. They limit the diversity of wildlife and insects that are gonna be found in the lawn. Another benefit of having biodiversity in your lawn is just tolerance with drought, foot traffic. Say that your lawn uh, had a disease, common disease in the summer is brown patch. Um, if your lawn has brown patch, clover could actually make, uh, make the impact of that disease seem less severe than it really is because it would provide resistance and um, it wouldn't be affected by brown patch the same way that the entire lawn would be. So again, having different types of, of plants to make up your lawn could be a good thing, especially something like micro clover, which is pretty discreet and um, and unnoticeable until you really, really get into your lawn and look at it with a fine tooth comb. The greenness of your lawn. And the way that works is that micro clover is actually in the legume family. So the cool thing about legumes is that they take nitrogen from our atmosphere and they put it back into the soil where most grasses, actually I believe all grasses, take nitrogen out of the soil. Nitrogen is the main, com the, the main component or the main nutrient that fuels growth and greenness in grass. So by taking nitrogen out of the air and putting it into the soil with micro clover, your lawn is going to appear greener and either need less fertilizer or be able to grow quicker if you maintain the same fertilizing schedule as before. What I would recommend doing is when you aerate and overseed your lawn, uh, use a little bit of micro clover mixed in with your overseeding mix. I'm going to put a link to all the tools that you'll find helpful down in the description of this video. It's important to remember when adding clover to your lawn to only use a little bit. The University of Maryland, um, their turf grass department recommends using only 5% um, only 5% micro clover seed by weight when overseeding.
you do is you take your 40 pounds of grass seed, you take your two pounds of clover, and you mix them up really well so that the clover is dispersed throughout the grass seed. Then when you overseed, you dump it all into your spreader and you walk across your lawn in a back and forth pattern, making sure to have overlap. And that's going to evenly distribute the micro clover throughout your lawn. Keep your lawn moist. If the, if the seeds aren't in contact with the ground and aren't kept moist, they're not going to germinate. Clover germinates very quickly. Uh, mine germinated in 72 hours or less, maybe. Um, and I was just watering it two times a day for five minutes each watering. We also had about 24 hours of just complete mist uh, during that period too. So that might have also sped up the process a little bit. So <clears throat> I've got, at this point they're dried up, but this is the, uh, the germinated seed right here. Like I said, after 72 hours, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Here's a photo a little bit closer up of the germination. If you want to keep the micro clover, don't use broadleaf herbicide. Let's say you do get dandelions or other broadleaf weeds in your lawn. What are you supposed to do? All you do is you spot spray, which is a totally different topic, so I'm not going to get into it in this video, but that's a great way to control weeds and keep your clover healthy. Another thing to mention when we're on the topic of herbicides, say that you uh, don't like having the clover in your lawn or say that you accidentally put too much clover in your lawn and now it's overtaking the lawn, keep in mind that all it takes is a broad leaf herbicide and you can get rid of the clover. That being said, it's very reversible and I, I think that it's something that you should give a try for a year and see how you like it. Um, I'm going to be tracking the progress of my lawn with micro clover because I actually just moved in this home back in February and uh, I put in fresh sod pretty close to when I moved here but I haven't seeded the lawn with micro clover yet or I hadn't in the past, I just seeded it about 72 hours ago with micro clover. So over the course of that growing in and getting established in the lawn, I'll try to make updates that way you know what to expect if you were to